It's the crack lads, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another best players per position. This time we're taking a look at the best anchorman DMF, right? So for a DMF, I already have covered box to box and destroyers, but for an anchorman, this is what you're going to be looking for, right? We've got Makalele here, obviously he's one of the best in the business, but all anchormen will behave like this with the AI, depending on their stats and how they're leveled up, but they'll roughly follow this, right? You can see his position in there, pretty much playing as a third center back, or, you know, your last man back tracking everything when the ball is kind of being uh, defended, when you're defending it, right? So, this is what the game defines an anchorman as. If you are a newcomer to the game, you can check out these player play styles, but this is what it says, right? A deep-sitting defensive midfielder protecting the back line, right? So think of Makalele, how he plays, or how he played in real life. Think of Rodri and his role. Uh, Fernandinho obviously was a little bit more uh, different, but that kind of Makalele role where you're sitting back very, very deep, and, you know, you're just trying to control and uh, not really get forward too much. You're just breaking up everything defensively. Casemiro is doing a similar job for Manchester United at the moment, where he's just kind of deep sitting, not really getting forward too much unless he needs to. Still goes forward a little bit, but it's mostly going to be to protect your center backs uh, for, you know, that little bit of cover when you're tracking runs, right? So we're going to kick off with a budget option, which is Kamara. And this guy is a monster anchorman. And as I said, lads, there is a lot of players that can play DMF. And there's a lot of different roles in DMF. But these are specifically anchorman players. I think they're definitely worth putting into your squad. Especially if you're playing a formation that suits it, right? So you can pause the video here on any of these training guides. This is how we've trained up Kamara. He plays for Aston Villa, obviously. Big future ahead of him. Couple of things you're looking for with Anchorman, right? Camera doesn't have it, but for 47,000 GP is a good option, right? He does have a lot of good player skills and really good defensive stats, right? Next up, we've got Tektemir. This guy is a Turkish player. He's very, very, very cheap. He's got insane player skills. As you can see there, he's got one touch pass, low lofted pass, but he's also got man marking, interception, blocker, fighting spirit, and sliding tackle. And for a player that's Pretty much pennies, lads. He costs pretty much nothing, like 5,000, 6,000 GP, as you see there. He also has a long ball expert when you're not controlling him if you're simming games, which is quite decent. Very decent stats, very decent dribbling stats for a player that you're going to get for, you know, for pennies that you can probably find down the back of the couch somewhere or in your in your jeans pocket that you forgot about loose change. Next up, we've got Tenali, right? So I've broken this video up. There's no real ranking on these players. It's not like, you know, best to worst or worst to best. But Tenali is more of a passer, right? We don't really want Tenali to be um, running forward with the ball or breaking up the play as much as some of the other guys on this. We're going to be training Tenali up to be our passer, right? So I will be doing a video on what kind of player roles you should be playing depending on your play style and depending on what tactics you like. If you like playing through the middle, I definitely recommend Anchorman um, and pair him with a box-to-box -box or a destroyer. If you like to play kind of very, very, very out wide, then you can play a little bit more possession. Fabinho is up next as a DMF. One of the best in the business, lads. Probably, I would say, in the top three anchorman if you learn how to play with him and you learn his limitations. He has one touch pass. He doesn't have blocker. A lot of these anchormen, I think the best ones do have blocker and interception as well as slight tackle um, because it means that you will put in a lot of contextual based uh, tackles when you're not controlling them, right? But look at his defensive stats, man, as well as 70 speed and 86 stamina. He also has insane tight dribbling uh, or tight possession after V2.4. That is very important if you like to play a little bit of football, right? Next up, we've got a classic Pez star, Barrios continues his fine form for being a budget option. He has got every single stat and skill that you could possibly want. He's quite cheap as well. One touch pass, double touch, man marking, interception, blocker, fighting spirit, sliding tackle, everything you could need. Goes up to an 88 overall DMF. He's also got every defense stat and attribute over 90. He's got 72 acceleration, 76 speed, 78 tight possession, Almost a perfect player, especially with the unwavering form. Try him out. We've also got Casemiro. I mean, look, being a United fan, I had to include Casemiro on this list. We have got two more beasts after this, but I think Casemiro is probably the best. Some people love him. Some people hate him, right? He is a little bit slow to handle on the ball. He's not as good on the ball as, say, somebody as we'll see in a second, Rodri. 
But this is how I've trained him up, right? And with the form he's in, that will probably continue through until eFootball 2024. And especially as being part of a partner club, his stats are always going to be pretty solid, right? We've got 70 acceleration, 86 stamina, fairly decent average kind of dribbling and passing and then the defense. But it's all about the player skills. Same with Sakaria. This guy is low key, one of the most over... Um, like whelming or overpower players in the game look at the player skills this is what i'm talking about he's got first time shot one touch pass weighted pass man marking interception blocker and fighting spirit and he's very 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 cheap as well he is only fifty thousand gp 47 to be exact excellent defensive stats excellent speed fairly decent tight possession if you're looking for an anchorman lads he's going to be kind of playing like a center back so you need to have him as an all-rounder that's able to block the ball defensively there's no point like unless you're going to be passing with him you need to have like a lot of passing skills and last but not least we have got Rodri. this guy is the real deal man he doesn't have blocker that's the only thing with this card he doesn't have blocker so i do think that sicaria and the likes of Casemiro and them can really give him a run for his money. The thing that I like about Rodri is you do not need to train up any of his passing or dribbling stats because of his ability, his natural ability on the ball as his standard version, right? So you can pretty much pump everything into defense and speed and you will get really high stamina, excellent defensive stats, and he's usually on good form as well because he's playing well for City. So that is it for me, lads. That is Anchorman DMF. It's a hugely important role if you are playing certain tactics and formations. If you are a newcomer, I would definitely recommend have a DMF that's an Anchorman, have a box-to-box -box center midfielder, and then have a whole player AMF. And you will be very, very well set up in midfield. That is it for me. I'll be back with another video. Don't forget to check out other videos in this playlist. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.